Hello friends, Osiris here. In today's video, we're going to go over some of the best builds to help you prepare for the brand new 7 Star Terror Raid event for Prim Arena when it goes live later this week. So schedule to drop in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on the 10th of May and run over that weekend until the 12th of May. We're going to see the first time for the seven star Mightiest Mark Primaruna come to Scarlet and Violet. It's going to have the fairy terror typing. So you're going to want to bring Pokemon that are super effective against fairy types. But you're going to have to worry also about the water typing that the Primarina does have access to. Its base typing is water and fairy. Unlike the other seven star terror raid events, it will have access probably to its hidden ability, which is liquid voice. So liquid voice turns all sound based attacking moves into water type moves. So things like perish song that it has access to and normally a normal type attack would be reverted into a water type move. Same can be said with Hyper Voice, probably in the more common used move on Primarina, where it can turn that sound based move into a water typing attack. It's just to clear up any confusion if you're in the raid and it does go for something like a Hyper Voice if it's got access to it. It's actually a water type attack move rather than its normal type. It can be said the same for something like Alluring Voice as well, which is a fairy type move at its base, but with the Liquid Voice ability when Primarina uses it would be turned into a water typing attack. We'll have that 30 times multiplier to its HP stats, so very similar to what the Meganium had. It's gonna be pretty chunky to take down. It's got good base HP and a good base special defense. It's weaker on its defensive side as well, so it might be something to consider going into this match. And primarily, it is gonna be a special attacking Pokemon. I can't really see it going down the route of anything with a physical type attack. So when preparing your Pokemon for this raid, it's probably better off to invest in that special defense stat than any defensive stat, because that's likely a path that we're gonna see the Primarina go down. For expected attacks we can see on the Primarina, things like Hyper Voice, that's gonna take advantage of that Liquid Voice ability. You're gonna have Moon Blast, it's gonna be probably the strongest fairy type attack that it does have access to. Now Alluring Voice is another alternative fairy type attacking move that it does get access to, but because of the Liquid Voice, it probably would say that it's not likely to have that. And if it does have the Alluring Voice, it does have a nice secondary effect, but it would be a water type attack because of the liquid voice turning that sound based move into a water typing attack. It's a little bit confusing, but the reason why I've listed it here is because it does have that secondary effect. If the target Pokemon is boosting its stats the same turn that Alluring Voice is used, then it does cause confusion on the target Pokemon. So that could be a little bit problematic if we are going for constant setup in the raid. Just something to bear in mind and keep a thought of if it does have access to it going into this raid. Ice Beam and Blizzard are definitely options that I could see Primarina using. It gives it a decent attacking option against grass types that you could potentially bring against this Pokemon. Energy Ball is another one. It could be a bit of a problem for coverage because especially if you're bringing maybe a water type Pokemon to this match to better deal with those big water type attacks that could come out from the Primarina, then that is going to be coverage that gives you a bit of a headache. And then Sparkling Area, which is its signature water type attack, which really we might see it used, but we might not as well. The only secondary effect that that move has is that it does cure burn on the target Pokemon once it is hit. But other than that, it doesn't really get too much other coverage move from an attacking point of view. So this is pretty much what you're going to be looking at. Shadow Ball, you could pigeonhole in here as well, but I don't really see any benefit of Primarina with the Fairy Terra typing running Shadow Ball in general, other than maybe if you want to counteract Goldingo, which could be maybe possibly an option you could bring against this Primarina. Setup options that it does have access to are going to be Calm Mind, is going to be able to boost its special attack and special defense by one stage every time it uses it. Amnesia boosts that special defense stat by two stages every time it uses it. You've got the field effect of Rain Dance as well to boost those water type attacks that it has access to. Charm is something that we may see to nullify the attack stat on our side of the field by two stages. And we could maybe, if we see that as an option on the Primarina, take advantage of that with some of our Pokemon picks. Then Haze as well is another option where it can nullify any stat boosts on the entire field. So that could be a problem if we are trying to set up against it. But all in all, I don't really see anything outside of this array of options on the Primarina. It's a very good Pokemon in general, very good defensively and very good offensively. So it's going to have a nice mix, might be a bit difficult to take down, but it all comes down to when it nullifies the stat boosts on our side of the field, stat drops on its side of the field. 
and of course when the shield goes up which we won't know until the raid event goes live later this week so jumping into game these are some builds that i've put together that i feel like are going to be very strong against the primarina of course like we've already mentioned you can't be 100 percent sure until the raid event goes live but these are probably going to be some pokemon that i would expect to do well when the primarina goes live later this week especially for soloing in game so the slow king galarian is going to be the first one that we're going to mention today going to have access to sword and shield or the dlcs to have access to this pokemon unfortunately it's not available in the base games of scarlet and violet but with that poison and psychic typing it gives it a really nice complementary typing against the primarina and what it can throw out against you Poison is the terror typing there, Shell Bell is the held item and it is going to be level 100 and just make sure that you do hyper train all of those IVs so they're all set to 31 to maximize attack and defensive capabilities. The moveset is going to be Sunny Day, Nasty Plot, Acid Spray and Sludge Wave. You can change the Sunny Day to Amnesia if you would like to, I just prefer the Sunny Day because it gives you a bit more stability as a field effect rather than something like amnesia that can be nullified quite early on in the battle but depending on how the raid interacts with us that might be something that we change later on and something that i just want to make you aware of that you can change if you feel like it would be more beneficial throughout the raid the ev spread that we've got on the slow king is going to be 252 evs in special attack and special defense with the remaining four evs in that hp stat basic premise is going to be get your sunny day up and then just start spamming the acid sprays that'll reduce the special defense on the primarina by two stages every time you use it remember it will work through a shield as well and then you can set up those nasty plots to boost your special attack by two stages every time you use it so three of those and then fire off the sludge waves once you have terrestrialized into that poison terror type you've got the shell bell to help with recovery there so the slow king all in all feels like a very solid option against the primarina so that's the first one we'll have to see how it does later this week when the event goes live but it's probably going to be the first thing that i take in to test when the raid goes up the next build we're going to feature is going to be pheasantipity another pokemon that you're going to have to have access to from the dlcs unfortunately uh, but a very strong contender against the primarina as well just with the tools it does have access to level 100 hyper train with the shell bell held item and poison terror typing moveset is going to be acid spray calm mind venishock and sludge bomb the ability toxic chain and again the same ev spread that we had for the slow king with the 252 evs in special attack and special defense with the remaining evs in hp so the basic idea again with the pheasantipity is going to be going for maybe calm mind turn one or two it depends when the stats are nullified on our side of the field it might be better to kick off the, the raid with just going for acid sprays to initially start where you're going to utilize that to reduce the special defense on the primarina then get your calm mind set up and because of the toxic chain ability a lot of the time you're going to be getting the poison effect on the primarina and then you can utilize venishock which its power is doubled when the target pokemon is poisoned so that is going to be a base 130 attack power move which is going to be a lot more than the sludge bomb which is base 90 so if the primarina is poisoned after you have set up with a combination of calm mind and acid spray then rely on venishock if not then just go for the sludge bomb and when it does poison the primarina then rely on that venishock but again pheasant dippity if you've got access to this pokemon with that poison terror typing gonna be a very very good option it's got very good natural bulk and it's special defense stat anyway so it's going to be very strong against the primarina and really be able to stand up to a flurry of attacks even if the primarina is boosting up during the match next up is going to be venusaur i feel like venusaur with its grass and poison typing has resistance to water type attacks and the fairy type attacks that could come out from the primarina now it does get access to acrobatics which is a physical flying type attack and it does get access to ice beam and blizzard so if it does have a combination of any of those coverage moves it could prove a little bit difficult for venusaur but you can get around it so it's just knowing what the moveset's going to be in the primarina and then deciding on which pokemon's going to be right for the job Venusaur otherwise if there's not ice or flying coverage is going to be perfect going into this raid have the shell bell as the held item it's going to give us a line of recovery poison terror typing there level 100 hyper trained with the moveset of sunny day growth acid spray and sludge bomb chlorophyll is going to be the ability that's going to boost our speed in the sun when it's active on the field with an ev spread again of 252 evs in special attack special defense and the remaining evs in speed with a modest nature so the basic idea of this set is 
turn one get that sunny day up it's going to activate your chlorophyll ability it's going to weaken the water type attacks that are coming out from the primarina you're already going to have a resistance to them anyway so but the other thing that it's going to do is make sure that growth gives you a plus two boost to your special attack and attacking stat every time you use it then you can use a combination of acid spray we've already talked about acid spray reducing the special defense on the primarina and then sludge bomb is going to be your main attacking move after you can terrestrialize even if it has got one of those ice or flying type coverage moves once you do terrestrialize you'll remove that weakness so you're going to be in a much better position to just do more damage and not be weak to the spread or coverage attacks that the primarina has access to potentially so venusaur could be a very good option again you're going to have to trade this pokemon in if you've got scarlet and violet base games um you're going to have to trade it in from pokemon home from a previous game uh if you haven't got the dlcs because that is the only way to get it currently in game now another pokemon that has been a mightiest mark pokemon previously so if you've done these raid events before it's likely that you're going to have access to empoleon already but empoleon could be a real sleeper pick going into this raid particularly if we see the primarina have something like that charm attack that it does utilize to weaken the attacking stat on the target pokemon so every time it uses that you'll be able to really take advantage of it with the competitive ability that the empoleon has access to because the charm will lower attack by two stages but the competitive will activate and boost our special attack by two stages so that's going to be a really nice way if we do see the primarina try to weaken our stats uh, level 100 hyper trained of course steel terror typing expert belt is the held item on the empoleon and a moveset of a roost throat chop metal sound and flash cannon so the basic idea is going to be to roost up whenever you need to recover that health off throat chop is a really interesting dark type attack so whenever you use this for the next two turns after that Primarina is not going to be able to use any sound based attacks so stuff like sparkling array, uh, alluring voice and hyper voice all fall into that category so you could really cut out a lot of potential from the Primarina if it has got access to those attacks then you've got metal sound as well which is going to reduce the special defense on the Primarina about two stages every time you use it just be aware you're not going to be able to use metal sound if the shield is up on the Primarina early on in the battle so that could be a little bit problematic and then flash cannon is going to be your main attacking option which you can utilize with the high special attack and stat that the, the empoleon has access to and then in a combination with that metal sound disruption that you have access to ev spread again is going to be 252 special defense special attack with the remaining put into hp and a modest nature so all in all i think empoleon will be a decent option going into the primarina you have to be careful if it has got energy ball of course because before you terrestrialize you're going to be weak to the energy ball and i feel like because primarina hasn't really got access to a wide array of different coverage moves that's probably likely going to be the one on there so this is why i would put the pheasantipity maybe the slow king at the top of the pile because regardless of the coverage that the primarina has access to the slow king is not really going to be worried about any sort of coverage that the primarina has and also as another option if you are wanting to go online i don't normally cover support builds but i do feel like claude sire could have a nice role to play in this raid because it is going to be able to resist the fairy type attacks coming out from the primarina and with the water absorbability that it does get access to it could give you a nice way to go online support fellow players uh, to be able to beat this primarina as a collective probably not going to be something you want to use as a solo build but if you are wanting to go online i think claude sir could be a decent option for this raid poison terror typing shell bell as the held item level 100 and the moveset is going to be Amnesia, Acid Spray, Mud Slap and Sludge Wave. Ability of course is that Water Absorb. And the EVs are going to be 252 in Special Attack and 252 in Special Defense. The remaining EVs put in 2 HP. Surprise, surprise with that one. Um, but the basic idea is going to be turn 1 I guess go for your Amnesia. So you take any coverage attacks a little bit better. And if it is boosting up itself you can take those Fairy type attacks a bit better. Then you're going to use a combination of Acid Spray to lower the special defense. We've already talked about that through the other builds. And then Mud Slap as well can reduce the accuracy on the Primarina, making it more difficult for it to actually land its attacks, meaning you and your teammates are going to have a much easier time. And then Sludge Wave 
gives you the ability to hit it with those defense drops that you've used from the acid spray so pretty good partner it's not going to be affected by any of those water type attacks that come out from the primarina uh, even after you try slice you're going to have that immunity to the primarina's water type attacks it could be potentially quite threatening otherwise because of the ground typing that you have on the clod side but if i was to pick two builds going into this it would be the slow king and i think the venusaur would be my preferred two but again it does come down to how the raid interacts later this week when it goes live of course all of the builds that we did feature in today's video will be down in the description below if you want to take a look at them after the video and put something together in game for yourself but that is everything for today's video friends i hope you found it useful i'm excited for this one to go live later this week of course i'll be in stockholm for the vg regional but we will be covering the event when it goes live on thursday evening with the best build so after a little bit of testing process uh, we'll put out a video making sure that you've got the best pokemon to solo this with when it goes live uh, so you can farm for those Herbomysticas, grab Primarina as easy as possible. And if you've got your own builds in mind with what you think is going to be good going in against Primarina, definitely drop it down in the comment section down below. It'll help out the community. We'll get this as a collective going forward so we all have an easy time when the raid event goes live. But thank you so much for taking the time to come by the video today. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like, do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.